Aloha and good day to you wherever you are in the world. I thought I'd talk today about creation, dichotomies and dilemmas. And the reason for this is that in the last week or two, I've been doing a lot of work with clients around those very questions. And I think they're important questions for us to be looking at. So from a Hawaiian perspective, when we create something, when something comes into being, its opposite also comes into being. And this is necessary to keep the energy flowing between the two sides. So you can think about it like a triangle. So here's the triangle, and this is the point of creation at the top of the triangle. And then on each side of the triangle, you've got the two, the two aspects of creation. So for example, in nature, you see night and day sun and moon, hot and cold, and so on. And of course, if you think about something like night and day, or if you think about high tide and low tide, the energy is always flowing between the night and the day, along the bottom of the triangle, or between the high tide and the low tide. And especially with high tide and low tide, we can really watch it happening when you sit by the sea, except in the Mediterranean where there isn't any tide. But that's a whole other story. So this creation triangle, the energy flows across the bottom. And sometimes it's more on one side and sometimes it's more on the other side, but it's always flowing. And there's always this pull. When we create anything, any concept, we still create its opposite. So classic one is money. If you take the idea of money, then the opposite's gonna be something that's not money. But depending on your beliefs and who you are and so forth, then this not money thing is gonna look very different. So for some people, not money looks like poverty. For some people, not money looks like happiness. It's up to you because it's not a physical reality like tide or, or, or like sun and moon. It's actually something that we create in our heads. And anything we create in our heads, anything we create in our, with our mentality, we're always going to set it up, set up the two sides in a way that work, works, in inverted commas, for us. So a dichotomy is something where the energy is flowing between the two. And in an ideal world, the energy flows between the two in a balanced way. So sometimes it's a little more one side, sometimes it's a little more of the other, but it's basically, it's balanced, it's harmonious. What tends to happen though is when, we, when we've got things that, beliefs and things that limit us in terms of our dichotomy, so for example, money, because as I say, it's a really easy one to work with. Most of us at some point have had dilemmas around money or issues around money. So when we work with our, with our dilemma, the, we want this flow. And you know, sometimes we say, well, on the one hand, I really want money. On the one hand, money is really important to to me. But on the other hand, I feel that it shouldn't be. Or on the other hand, that's the kind of dilemma or dichotomy we're talking about. Or for example, yep, I can make enough money to survive, but it's survival and I want more than survival. I want abundance. I want enjoyment. Uh, For some people, it might be money is evil, dirty, nasty and mean, but I know I have to function with it. So I I, I find that I just have this money, not money, no money, not money. And for some people, it's I just never have the money I need. So it's looking at, okay, if money is the issue, if money is the question, then what's for you on the other side of money? Is it poverty? Is it abundance? Is it health? Is it ill health? Do you work too hard in order to get the money that you need? Is it, well, I'm either, I'm either sick or I've got money. So finding that dichotomy is really important. And on the Huna retreats that I run and that we run in Hawaii, we teach people a brilliant, brilliant technique 
for resolving these kinds of dichotomies. Because here's the problem. This is your creation. You've set this up with your own mentality, with your own head. And because you've set it up, you can have it whatever way you want it. Night and day, me. That's a bit more tricky. You didn't set it up with your mentality, although your experience of it, of course, you set up with your mentality. But these things that we actually set up ourselves with our own brains, we can change that in the flash of a, in the blink of an eye, at will. So, when you're thinking about issues and challenges in your life, one of the things that you can think about is, how have I got this set up so that I have money and poverty, so that I have relationship and no fun, so that I have health and fitness and too much effort, whatever those dichotomies are. So look at your dichotomies, look at your dilemmas, look at where the energy isn't flowing smoothly and journal around that. And you may find in the journaling that it actually releases anyway. If that doesn't happen, then get in touch. You can PM me, you can direct message me on Facebook, you can jump on a, you can book a call, secretartofhuna.com slash diary. And as I say, we do work on this at retreats, so you can always book on a retreat as well. So look forward to talking to you again very soon. Take care now.